My philosophy has always been that as a political scientist and as a faculty member, my two main responsibilities are to educate our students, but also to continue my research agenda as a scholar. And the research that I do informs my teaching, but sometimes my teaching helps to inform my scholarship. Whether it's my presidency class or my women in politics class, there have been times when I've been lecturing and hearing students talk and they'll ask me questions and all of a sudden the light bulb in my head will go on and think, that's a question I think I should really look at in my own research. I have a brand new presidency text coming out. It's called Presidents in the American Presidency based on some of the research that I have done. I've done extensive research in presidential libraries across the country. And so I rely on archival data to show what really happens in the presidency day to day. In the preface of the book, I make a point of thanking all of the students who have ever taken my presidency class. I've been teaching at the university level for about 15, 16 years. So much has changed in media and politics. I think scholars are just starting to contemplate what all of this new technology means for what we know as voters and how we participate in the process. It matters whether you're just looking at one candidate speaking or are you looking at a split screen when they're speaking. Because if you see the reactions from the other person, is that changing what you're hearing in the debate? If you're watching it online and you see blog comments or Twitter comments, is that changing what you're taking from the debate? And I think we know the answer is yes. So that's one of the themes that I'm really starting to focus on, particularly in my meeting politics class, but also how it relates to how we elect president. We have our majors doing a lot of different things when they graduate. Some take the path where they really want to get involved in politics or the governing process. We have a lot of other students who obviously go to law school. Actually, we have a lot of students who are business majors and either a double major in political science or a minor. One student I'm thinking of in particular ended up double majoring in film and in political science because he's in the documentary program. I always make the argument of why political science is the best major on campus. It has so many important links to all the other real world implications of what we do. I think it's just that linchpin to global competitiveness and this understanding and knowledge of the world in which we live.